Uh, okay guys, so as you saw in that preview, uh, we're going to create a notification uh, counter. So uh, before we start creating that, uh, let's uh, change uh, some styles and colors XML. So uh, I'll change the color primary dark uh, from green to, uh, to black color. Alright, and uh, I'll add the new color uh, which is white. Okay, because we need those colors uh, for our project. Uh, next, uh, I'm going to remove uh, action bar and uh, I'm going to remove uh, activity title. So, uh, window action bar set to false and uh, window no title says to true. Okay, now that we have that, uh, let's add our notification icon. So, in our drawable uh, directory, uh, let's uh, click right click and uh, select vector image and now from the from uh, desktop i will choose the notification icon that uh, i created so uh, this is svg file okay just click next and uh, this uh, file will be located in a drawable folder so when we open our svg file we're going to see some uh, attributes and uh, tags here as you can see, fill color, uh, we can change its color. Uh, for now, uh, for our project, uh, we're going to need the white color for, uh, for our notification icon. All right, uh, next uh, we need to create a layout, uh, layout for our uh, notification icon. So uh, you'll see, let's name it Bell. And here we're going to add um, our notification icon and uh, we're going to create uh, one circle and uh, text view to represent the numbers. Okay. Uh, first, let's uh, add uh, image view in our constraint layout. And let's choose our notification icon uh, from before. Click OK. And uh, for the purpose of this project, uh, we need to change color to black to switch back. So we'll go to uh, our drawable directory and change from uh, white to black for now so we can see our icon here. Okay, uh, we're going to decrease the size, uh, width and height uh, to 50 dp or 40 dp maybe. It's, it's uh, kind of better I think. Okay, now let's uh, connect those constraints, uh, left and uh, top constraint. Uh, but before that let's... Uh, Okay, we have an error here. Uh, it says that we need to add uh, one line of code in our uh, uh, Gradle build file module application. So here, just below that, we're going to write um, vector drawables uh, dot use support library equals to true. Uh, this line of code is uh, always necessary uh, when you are working with uh, vector files. Okay, now the error should uh, disappear. Let's check it out. Okay, and now it's gone. Uh, we have one more uh, error. We need to connect our constraints, at least two constraints, uh, left and top. This time, okay. And now we are error free. Uh, the next thing what we are going to add is a uh, card view. So we can uh, just drag and drop that here and uh, it will automatically add a dependency in our uh, uh, Gradle build file. So when we check our uh, uh, file, as you can see, this line of code is uh, added automatically by uh, Android Studio. Okay, uh, maybe it is smarter to add uh, this line of code first before adding a card view into a layout. Uh, but okay. So uh, I'll change the uh, image view uh, ID to notification icon and uh, I'm going to uh, add ID for our card view. Uh, let's name it uh, notification container or number container, okay? Because this card view will contain a number or text view. Okay, uh, width and height uh, should be around uh, 
10 VP or so, oh, sorry, 18, 18 VP and something like that. So we need to connect right and top constraints because we want uh, this card view to show uh, on the right top edge of our notification uh, icon here and we need to add a uh, fill color and uh, radius so we can have a circled shape uh, card view so let's add this uh, attribute uh, card background color we're going to set color to uh, color ascent like this and we're going to add one more uh, attribute here uh, card uh, corner radius uh, I'm just going to set uh, corner radius to 50 dp it should uh, do the work okay now we have a circle shape uh, card view here and uh, inside inside the card view I want to add a constraint layout and inside constraint layout I want to add a text view which will represent a number of course okay and now I'll set text to one. So uh, let's add uh, let's add a few more lines here. So uh, maybe text color and text size and text style. Text color should be white. Okay. Text style should be bold. So we can see this uh, little text view uh, number uh, more. Uh, Okay, text size, let's say 20. I think 20 SP uh, will be fine. Okay, and the uh, text color, oh sorry, I misspelled the word text. Okay, now it's fine. And uh, let's connect the constraints uh, for our little text view here. So we can connect the uh, left, right constraint. Okay, you can connect the uh, bottom and top, uh, and top constraint as well. And now we have created our our bell icon, which is consists of, of course, notification and card view and text view. So let's uh, change back uh, our notification icon to white. And now we can uh, start working on our uh, activity or our uh, main activity layout. So let's delete this text view, and we're go we're going to add a toolbar. So just drag and drop that here. Uh, our root uh, layout is constraint layout and uh, we're going to add include here inside our toolbar as well and uh, select our bell xml file okay our include uh, tag is not inside our toolbar so let's move that here inside let's uh, cut and paste here inside okay and let's add constraint layout uh, inside toolbar as well so it will be easier for us to uh, move our um, bell icon uh, inside the toolbar and for the toolbar uh, let's connect the constraints left right and top so it can be it can be uh, still on the top okay now let's add a constraint layout as well okay uh, i think we should change the background color of our toolbar to uh, be black okay just for the purpose of this tutorial it will be black color and now let's uh, add constraint layout okay uh, move that inside the toolbar uh, i'll have to do it manually but don't worry paste that here and uh, paste include uh, inside the constraint layout okay now, now it's good so uh, let's check uh, now and uh, let's select our include which is uh, actually a bell icon okay let's connect right constraint and that's all uh, we need for our uh, tutorial here let's say a right constraint should be around 16 and we need to add padding uh, top and bottom padding on our uh, toolbar so uh, let's add uh, padding top and padding bottom to 16 dp as well okay and now it should look uh, better okay uh, we can run the application to see uh, how that looks 
for now. Okay, and uh, it looks fine. We're going to add uh, one more button here. Uh, and uh, we're going to add a function uh, for uh, increasing the notification number here on the top. Of course, uh, this tutorial will be split in two parts. And uh, in the second part, we are, uh, we are going to do all the coding or programming. And in this tutorial, I, I just uh, want to show you how to design this, uh, this uh, notification counter icon and uh, everything else. So uh, for this button, uh, let's put that a uh, little above. We're going to connect constraints like right and left, of course, and uh, we can change uh, some attributes uh, or some style on our button. So maybe text will be uh, increased. We can change the text size, text color and uh, background color for our button as well. So text color should be white. Uh, width and height uh, width uh, should be uh, 200 dp and height should be 100 dp this is just an example okay and um, background should be black to match the toolbar of course okay and uh, I think uh, that's uh, that's fine for now we can set uh, text size increase a little bit and uh, that will be uh, all for this tutorial guys uh, in the uh, next tutorial we're going to do all the programming and we're going to make this uh, uh, possible so you'll see when we click uh, increase button uh, the notification counter uh, will increase and when it comes to 99 it will stop and it won't increase anymore so uh, thank you for watching guys uh, please like this video if you find it helpful and uh, see you in the next video